Back in the building, back in the place. I'm back with my big gold right. This is your kid, say, baby. This is our trend. Hey, man. Say, man. Hi. Hey, how's it going, bro? Man, it's good, man. You know, I'm just chilling, you know, looking at it. Yeah. Uh, Nothing too amazing. It's coming upon uh, Christmas and these holiday seasons. Mm hmm. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of Facebook posts, a lot of women, really mainly women on there uh talking trash about other women seeing what they're gonna do for their kids for christmas uh men talking to other men seeing what they're gonna do for their kids for christmas talking about yeah me and my kids gonna pop out for the holidays yeah uh, but what where do you see those self in this opinion about pocket watching and worrying about what other people are doing and what they got going uh I mean, it's crazy because i just made a post about that probably last week sometime and i said you know this is the most pocket watching generation ever you know like i just think people and a lot of times people would get it misunderstood like i don't me personally i don't give a fuck about how much like a local person how much they got or a person that i know from around the way we're like yeah i might speak on celebrities on how they moved a certain way with some money or whatever they celebrities i don't give a fuck about them people i don't give a fuck about nobody really but I think more so on a stance of just like people that are like our peers around us. Like, I don't care what you got going on with your money. Like, yeah. if you want to take trips, if you want to do this, if you want to do that, like, do your thing. Real talk, real talk. Only time my pocket watch is when you owe me money. Right. Uh, if you owe me money, I'm I'm pocket watching you. You, mm -hmm. you go to the mall, I'm looking at that. When I see you eat, I'm looking at that. I, I'm wondering why you ain't see my cash app back. When, but, when you I think really social media just put everybody in everybody's business, but that's why I try to stay a little bit more personal with my life now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not as, you probably ain't gonna know what car I drive. You know what I'm saying? You probably ain't gonna know where I live at. You know what I'm saying? Compared to how I used to be, I wanted everybody to see all this shit. So now, I'm like, nah, you're gonna have to guess on what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. And you know? it, it makes it hard. Because not only we live in a pocket watch society right now, we living in a gossip ass society. Yeah. Oh, bro, somebody, you know what they nobody talking about uh, about Ray right now about what you wearing, about what you're talking about, about oh, what yeah. you're talking about. I mean, they they come with the territory though. That's why I say, man, you know this podcast and shit. You know it might make certain people feel a certain type of way. You just never know, man. Certain people just hate watching any type of success. I could be getting five views and the motherfucker mad because I got five and I didn't get four. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, yeah. So as a man, do you think it makes you less of a man to pocket watch another man? Yeah, for sure. For goddamn sure, yeah. Worry about what another man got going on just because he got nice cars, nice shoes, nice clothes. Uh, He got a jury, live with live in a big house. You never gonna get to what God got for you watching somebody else, man. Ever. You never this is your place watching me, man. This is your place. I'm doing mine, man. I got my blessing. Let me live it out my blessing. Stop watching mine. Right. I'm not watching yours. I'm praying that you get yours. I'm praying that y'all get y'all. It's just some people can't, you know what I'm saying? They can't, they don't want to see everybody get a blessing. Some people don't want to see everybody get a blessing. You feel what I'm saying? Like that, that's that's the reality of it all. Like certain people just would rather some people be down and out in life you know it's, it's it's haters in this world you know god put haters out here and people gotta understand man not everybody supposed to get blessed at the same time mm -hmm. that's not different you. times man real talk god gonna have to send you through some things before he bless you right and sometimes people don't go through nothing and get blessed yeah it's, it's just all the path that god got for you what, whatever i mean even if you don't believe in god if the the world, your karma is if it's gonna come good for you, you put out good in this world, it's gonna get so good. But you gotta understand, watching somebody else getting good don't do nothing for you. You don't do nothing for me. But you know, it's, it's bro. It's, I don't even think you'd be watching somebody else do good, bro. It's people, bro. Like I say, some people just. A motherfucker can barely have anything going. You know, some people just hate certain people's spirit, bro. Like certain people hate the love people get from people you know what i'm saying it don't even be about the money with this shit. really a lot of times man a lot of people just hate how people might gravitate to you you know what i'm saying how people will fuck with you you know what i'm saying the pocket watch this shit is real yeah that is but it's the 
love you get from people. When a motherfucker hates you, they hate when a motherfucker love you. Yeah. Hater never gonna like a motherfucker that love a person they hate. Yeah, it's just like it's just like when a uh a dude get broke up with and she go date somebody else, and I'm gonna say, What what do you see in him? What do you what do you see in him? And see, I don't give a damn who you date after me. I want I want you to date after me. And uh so the biggest pocket watches out there, and I know y'all get mad, is y'all women. Yeah. Stop, stop women. What y'all need to do is stop pocket with watching us men and start watching your own pockets. Women by and large make more money than us. So why y'all watching our pockets? We should be watching y'all. We should be we should be on y'all ass trying to figure out why y'all not paying for these dates. Because now y'all the majority when it comes to money. We should be asking y'all why y'all ain't paying all the rent now. Hell, y'all, y'all <laughs> And by and large, women make more money than men on average. Yeah, that's more. true. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to hustle. Like at the stage of life I'm at now, bro, I'd be like, I'm not a woman. And I'm not saying you do, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I can't need a woman for nothing. You're gonna have to come live with me if it's anything. I, I'm not coming to live with you. I no. can't come stay with you. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta come live with me if anything. Like, I gotta have my own shit. Real talk. That's it. I'm old girls, man. Cause you know some girls get real scandalous, man. That's why a lot of these niggas gotta put up with that shit, man. You know they they need a place to stay. Real talk, real talk, real talk. Hey, a homeless motherfucker would take a lot of shit. Yeah. A a, a, a darn near homeless man would take a lot of stuff from a woman he don't like. Yeah. And a homeless and and a and sad thing go for a woman. She'll take a dude cheating on her, beating on her, all type of stuff, cause she ain't got nothing going for herself. Mm-hmm. So instead of pocket watching people, get something going for yourself. Mm-hmm. Find out what you're good at. And try to capitalize off of it. Get motivated. Not everybody's okay. supposed to have money, bro. Yeah. Not everybody's supposed to be rich. They're you know, supposed to, they're supposed right to be somebody, man. You know, I always be hitting with them posts. You know, like everybody's not supposed to be an entrepreneur, bro. Like I think social media has made everybody feel like nobody's supposed to be a worker no more. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it, you gotta be. A, it's it's some people that's supposed to just be workers. No, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And nothing wrong with that. But that's but the social media has everybody feeling like everybody's supposed to be an entrepreneur. You you supposed to be a bit. You supposed to own your own business. You supposed. You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah, the new. That's the new wave. Man, both are entrepreneurs are broke. They, they, they live from sale to sale. We live from check to check, and a lot of entrepreneurs are living from sale to sale. They work in, they work in every day, 10 hours a day to put food on their table. And you worry about going to work for 40 hours uh to put the food on yours. Yeah. I I really I really hey, even though I do believe in entrepreneurism, I do believe you get a goddamn job. Yeah. And uh, you gotta get you gotta have some income coming in until your shit take off. You know, that's just part uh, of it. You know what I'm saying? No, you know, a lot of people they quit before they get uh that's what uh so dude was talking about, he was like, these, these people got to stop saying, hey, I'm going to go do this, that, and the third, and quit their job to go do that. Now you ain't got no money. <laughs> that and the third. You just wishing on the star and shit. Yeah, man, you got to have something to fund, something. Man, I, but you know, everybody think they going to, everybody think, you know, they going to wake up and something magical going to happen. I mean, I'm not saying it ain't, you know, but that magic don't happen to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't get lucky. Nobody, hey, nobody gets lucky, man. I, I, I don't believe in luck at all. I believe everything was destined, uh, not by the God or ordained by God, but everybody got their own path in life. Everybody, but yeah, everybody definitely got their own path in life for sure. You know, what what I'm for you, happens for you, but you can also make it happen for yourself. So I'm like, man, God, hey, people who really believe in God, God's not going to give it to you. I'm letting y'all know. No matter how much you pray, it says in the Bible, faith without works is dead. So if you don't work, it's dead, bro. <laughs> it's dead. It's dead, man. It says in the Bible, faithful about works is dead. You can have faith on a dream of yours and not work towards it. If you don't, the whole dream is dead. 